Alyssa, I am so sorry this happened to you. I would have taken the bullets for you. I would have protected you. And I'm sorry I wasn't there. It is painful to watch, almost impossible to fathom the grief of L'Oreal Haddaf. Her daughter, Alyssa, only 14, the youngest of the 17 victims in the school shooting down in Florida. Now, we are seeing the first funeral today, one of many that will happen over the next few days. But there is also a growing sense of anger and outrage in the community, wanting changes brought about for gun control laws in the states. I'm a little bit distraught. Sort of can't really wrap my finger around it, exactly what happened. And I'm just sad to see all, all, most of my friends are up on that stage right now. That they're gone, the coach is gone, it's just sad. Thousands of people, families, classmates, community leaders all gathering for a candlelight vigil to remember the victims and comfort the survivors. Wednesday's attack, the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. The 19-year-old suspect accused of using a legally purchased AR-15 style weapon in the attack. Grim reminders of America's long and troubled gun culture. Many of the vigils saying enough calling for change. You have to be 25 to rent a car, you have to be 21 to have your first drink, but you can be 18 and have an assault rifle. I, I don't think so. I think there needs to be more checks and balances with owning those type of guns. A large crowd of high school students from a neighboring community taking to the street this morning calling for legislation to curb gun violence. Since Wednesday's mass shooting, some of the loudest critics of American gun policy have been teenagers. Many lining up for national media cameras, directing their anger at politicians in Washington. I think that after every shooting, the NRA sends them a memo saying, send your thoughts and prayers, say let's not talk about it now, say this happens. This is the only country where this kind of thing happens. This happens over and over again and people are dying and it, like, it, it seems like it doesn't matter because... Like, what are thoughts and prayers going to do when people are already dead? People get used to what's going on, and that's not okay. We're habituating to this. And what happens when you do that is children are dying, and they will continue to die unless we stop it, stand up, and take action. An emotional Jimmy Kimmel opening his show last night to weigh in on Wednesday's tragedy, pleading for common-sense gun reform and offering up advice for President Trump. Tell your buddies in Congress, tell Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell and Marco Rubio, all the family men who care so much about their communities, that what we need are laws, real laws, that do everything possible to keep assault rifles out of the hands of people who are going to shoot our kids. Go on TV and tell them to do that. That's Trump tweeting today that he plans to go down to Florida to meet with survivors, families of victims, and law enforcement officials. As well, he also mentioned that he is working on many fronts with Congress, but he doesn't specify what those fronts are.